Hey, sweet thing, I'm here. I'm here. I had to get mom and dad set up. Hey, <laughs> welcome to the show. Hey, it's Friday night. Things can only go up from here. You hear what I'm saying? It's Friday. That's all you need to know. Hey, boo, hey. Well, you're here for another edition of Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. I'm your host, Carla Renee. Thanks for hanging out here with me, boo. Hey, brother. Hey. <laughs> Thank you guys for being here. Now, while you're coming on, go ahead and be a dear and share the show right now. Uh-huh. The website is sugarpearlsonline.com. YouTube is Sugar Pearls and Instagram is Sugar Pearls underscore online. Thank you so much for being here for my Jamaican oxtails feast tonight. Um, the rice is done. It's done. The collard greens are done. We ain't talking no can, honey. I cut and cleaned. They're, they're done. I already ate that. So now it's time to do the ox sales. Hi. Hello there. Now you'll have to forgive me. Thank you, honey. Thank you. See, do like Tommy and, and share right now. Okay. So you already know tonight we're going to be doing um, my version of Jamaican oxtails. Okay. It's going to be like a brown stew down really good. So I say all that to say, all that to say that this recipe, the show will be over and the recipe will still be going. Okay. I'm going to show you how to get it started. Okay. Because this, um, oxtails and like neck bone stew and stuff like my grandmoms used to make um that you want that to cook you want to take time and i love doing this especially in the winter time because it's cold i can you know cook it for as long as i want to and really get that home feel in the food okay so that's what we're going to be doing i'm going to show you how to start the oxtails and then um we'll we'll finish it up uh i'll check back in on you tomorrow how about that hey <laughs> okay it is time to go ahead and get shot started let everybody know that we're eating good in the hood on another edition of sugar pearl studio kitchen live hey boo Okay, here we go. So I've got two pounds of oxtails. All right, two pounds. Now I was joking um with my girlfriend. I was like, I say, what is, are they killing baby oxen for these little look? They I I like them real big, you know, like that. So these are smaller, um, but they've still got oh they're gonna be super tender. They're surrounded by all these globules of fat. And when we cook it down into this good brown gravy, brown stew, um, it's gonna be falling off the bone tender and you're gonna make it yourself, all right? Are you ready? Boom, let's go. Okay, so we've got two pounds. Let's go ahead and get ready to get seasoning, okay? So let me tilt you there. I had some gloves sitting right there. What did I do with them? Uh, I always do this. I just had gloves, people. I just had gloves. There you go. Okay, I might have to use my hands. Nope, no, I'm not. Uh -uh. <gasps> when things hide from you in the kitchen. I know that's all of our experience. Okay. So uh it's it's been one heck of a week, but we're here. Today you saw me get my um 
COVID-19 vaccine for teachers uh, here in Charlotte Mecklenburg, it was a breeze. I went to, um, if you didn't get to join me on the live, so these are all the vegetables that I'm going to put in there. I've got some peppers, uh, some fresh thyme that we're going to cut up. I've got, and I'm, I'm going to cook these just like, I'm going to drop them in the stew like this, but these are shallots. I just kind of cut them in half. Uh, carrots uh, there. <laughs> celery there and I've got some potatoes too okay so remember I told you in the promo chock full of veggies all right go crazy go crazy with the veggies that way you don't feel so guilty about these eat, eating these delicious oxtails okay so these are the veggies that are going in there I'll get the thyme chopped up because I really want that flavor to just kind of permeate that all um, that gravy so to our two pounds of an oxtail so we're gonna season it up and then we'll taste um as it cooks down for flavor okay but we'll start with a small amount and add okay so the first thing i like to start with when i'm seasoning well first let me tell you why i would clean them so when you get your oxtails wherever you get them from um Make sure you give it a nice rinse through. Don't tear the meat, but go ahead and rinse it through real good. Check to make sure there isn't any like silver skin. I found a piece of silver skin that can be like really, really tough to chew. As a matter of fact, it's, you can't chew it. It's so, you know, stringy like. Um, so I cut all of that away with my kitchen shears. All right. And then for the final part of the rinsing, I did a little bit of pink salt and some lime juice. Just blended it all and let that sit for a few minutes and then rinse that off and then stored it in the fridge. Okay. So it's ready. I took it out about 45 minutes ago so that it was sort of kind of room temperature um that's a good tip um whenever you're cooking like a, a steak or chicken or whatever uh take it out ahead of time let it get almost room temperature and then cook it and you'll be able to taste the difference between your teeth i'm telling you okay so to our two pounds of our oxtails i'm gonna go ahead and add one This is two tablespoons of light brown sugar, okay? Now, I told you I um, I saw some oxtail seasoning in the international foods aisle at my store. So, um, it's real, the stuff that's in here is really like, almost like a nature seasoning for oxtails. Okay, so we'll use about two tablespoons of that. Okay. We're going for, okay, so that's one. It's got salt in it. So, you know, at this point, you want to add, you can probably add like a tablespoon of salt to start. Ooh, that's spicy. I like, I like. Okay, and now... Um, I've got some browning sauce. I love browning sauce. Okay. It does the trick for you. We're going to kind of sear these up a little bit um, after we sweat our veggies. But I'm going to go for about two tablespoons of browning sauce. I have Magi, um, one that's made from Magi. Okay. So that's one. <laughs> Oh, those spices are good, too. So that's two tablespoons of your favorite browning sauce, okay? All right. Um, let's go in. You can add your garlic if you want to, or you can just sweat it out when we get ready for that part. But I've got like a little, the tube of garlic, you know, that I like, especially when I'm being lazy. So I'm going to just do a tablespoon of garlic. Ooh, 
teaspoon of allspice. Uh, it, it may be a heaping because I'm kind of spilling it. I'm going to do a little more. Maybe a teaspoon and a half. Um, you can do it to your taste. Some people aren't, um, you know, too friendly with the allspice flavor. So you can add as little or as much as you want. Don't overdo it, but you know, okay. So um, we got that. I'm gonna add a little bit of my homemade chili oil and mix. That's it. Okay, and really get it in there. Because remember, I'm gonna, um, after I sweat the veggies, I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna sweat the veggies a little bit. Now, if you wanted to do this marinade ahead of time, honey, do it ahead of time and just let it sit in there overnight or a few hours or something in the day, you know? But, um, oh, <laughs> this is beautiful. Wish I had another camera so you could see how, see from the top, how beautiful this is. Look at that. Look. Ooh. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. I think that might be enough mixing. We'll get it in. And, you know, we're going to cook it down so you'll be able to add more flavors that you want. But I did those measurement measurements for uh, two pounds of oxtails um, so that we wouldn't over do it on the seasonings we didn't add any salt okay you i mean i didn't add any salt you can add um salt like i had the oxtail seasoning which has salt in it so i don't want to i don't want to overdo it with that okay but if you've got like a, a fine himalayan pink salt or something somewhere around i would add a tablespoon of that to the two pounds okay all right so let's get that out of the way and let's go ahead and get our pot on. Hey, boo, hey. <laughs> hey, honey. Okay. And the first thing that we're going to do is sear up some of our meat. Okay. So we'll get some of it seared off and we'll add our veggies. And then, um, remember in the ingredients list, I told you to get some beef stock or beef bouillon. So I had beef bouillon and I made my own. So I've got like a, a little beef stock here. I add none to it. Just two cubes of beef stock, two cups of water. Okay. So for every little cube, I forget how many ounces it is, maybe an ounce, um, add a cup of water. Okay. So I did two and two. All right. Um, the beef stock is done. I'll add that in a little bit. Rice and collard greens are done, honey. We're going to be making a plate again. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> okay. So, to our pot. Let me bring you on in. To our pot, let's go ahead and add some of that homemade chili oil. No matter if the chilies fall in there, honey. That's good. That's even better. And I'm going to crank this up because I'm going to start to sear um, pieces of our meat. And then I'll get the time, as a matter of fact, so I can get the time ready. I really want um, that that brightness of the time in this. And, and usually if you get a good oxtail stew, a good Jamaican oxtail, um, it's going to have time in it lots of it <laughs> um anywhere we can get time we we take it okay so go ahead and lay your i'll bring you in i'll let you see what's happening okay so go ahead and lay your on there there you go now i got it kind of high Some of the bit, the smaller pieces I'm not going to worry about, but the bigger pieces, I want that 
with, with the bigger pieces, as I was saying, <laughs> I want that fat and that the caramelization from the meat and the bone. I want that because when I sweat my veggies, I want it to go in that that pot of gold. Okay, that's literally what it is—the pot of gold. Okay, take a look. All right, so you let that cook. Okay, and we're gonna give it a good browning. Now, there was one thing that I did not do when I did. I can do it with this, okay? So, to your, um, because you want your oxtail stew to have like a, you know, something to cling to your rice, <laughs> okay? Something to cling to your rice and your greens. Um, add a little bit of cornstarch or flour, okay? So, I'm going to add a little bit of cornstarch to mine. A clean spoon. And we'll do it in. That is smoky, so good. I'm going to do it teaspoon. The ones I put in there, I ain't extra in there. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. Let's give this a good mix of it. So that we'll have something that, that creates a little bit of a thickness. So that when we add our liquid, it can make its own gravy. Okay. So that's what we're doing. We're giving it something to make its own gravy. We're not cooking it, we're just trying to give it a little, little bronze in so that we can get some of that, that gold. And we want that gold. Okay. Yeah. Now. I wanted to get it while that while there was a little crust on the bottom. So that's what you got. Okay. Don't add anything to it just yet. Just let it sweat. And it's kind of high. Give that a mix mix. Okay. All right. Now, um, you can go ahead and add your broth at this point. But before I add my broth, I'm going to add one more thing. I'm going to add a half a cup of red wine. Ooh, to really deglaze that pan, that pot, get all of those goodies off of there, crank it up, and pour it in my broth. Pour it in. Don't worry, we're gonna give the wine time to cook off. If you add wine, you don't have to. But I really wanted that that nice red wine flavor in there. Um, okay, so that and now we're gonna add the rest of our tail. So go ahead and turn your pot up. Um and add your tails on the end there, okay? All right. Now this is going to stew for a while, okay? So if you got something to do, honey, go do it, okay? This is a great time. All right. Wow. 
watch that. Okay. So here is your stew. It's going to keep on going. See how we put those, um, that shallot. I had some shallots in there. Instead of dicing them up, I just kind of chunked them like halfway, threw them on in there. Um, so you got yourself the beginning of a really, 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 really nice stew. So I'm going to go ahead and crank it up. And when it cranks up, we're going to add another special ingredient. So hang tight. Okay. If you're cooking with me, look at you. Look at you doing the big things in 2021. Look at you. I'm so glad you're here, baby. Hey, share the video right now. Let folks know that uh, we're eating good in the hood. And this is how we do it every Friday night. Mm, mm, I'm glad to be here with you. Excited that we've got the beginnings, anyway, of our stew Jamaican oxtails. All right, a nice, oh, look at this. Um, when you add that wine, let me just show you what happens. So you got a, a beautiful, nice, almost chocolatey looking um, uh, gravy in there right now. And then when it cooks down and it adds more of that meat fat and the caramelization that we had on that meat, it's going to add another layer of flavor. So it's not done. It's going to continue to, that's why when you get to this point, you just want to let it cook. Be patient. Okay. So if you want to do this the night before, I actually suggest doing this the night before. Um, because the next day when you pull it out of the fridge, you can skim all of that fat off. Okay. So you don't have to worry about having, you know, ingesting all of this grease with your oxtails. You know, it's you know, not fat free, <laughs> not even, but you can help yourself a little bit by taking some of that excess fat off the next day. Okay. All right. So we're going to give this a whirl. I'm going to show you how, how it kind of looks right now. So here we go. Okay. All right, and bring it up to a boil just to kind of get it started, just to wake it up a little bit. And then we will um, let it do what it, it do. I will let my oxtails go for probably another three hours. So that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, I'm showing you how to get this started. The rest will be up to you, okay? So let it cook, make sure the bottom doesn't scorch, okay? So have it up, but not so high that you scorch the meat, okay? You don't want that, because uh, then you don't ruin the pot of oxtails, okay? So I've got this, this, oh, this is lovely. This is <laughs> awesome. And when that shallot cooks down, in there all right so i'm gonna let that go it's it's um doing what it's supposed to do i'm pleased oh my time ah! y'all let me forget the time can't do that okay so let me get my time chopped on here you know what i meant to hey i can't I, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, boo, love you too. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, so now nah, what's up? All right, so I'm going to. Okay, now I got it up to a a 
boil and I'm gonna turn it down now. Okay, so it's it's up. If it's up, then it's up, then it's up, then it's stuck. If it's up, then it's if it's mm, mm, mm. okay. Uh, <laughs> and then turn it down so it can just cook, cook, cook. Because it's gonna cook all night. Okay, three hours. Um and then you'll have show enough delicious tender oxtails. Now we're gonna taste it again for flavor. Make sure we don't need to add anything else. Um, see if we need to add any salt or whatever before this goes all the way back down. Hold on, I'm, I'm checking something real quick. Cause child, I, you know, people get old. Okay. Um, all right, it's working, <laughs> it's working. Okay, so now that it's up, here's your secret ingredient, your ketchup. So frown your face at ketchup all you want, okay? Frown your face at it, I don't care. But um, ketchup, just a, just a couple of tablespoons in this is going to give us the umami more umami because <laughs> we've already got lots of it but when you add that ketchup it you know ketchup has the the perfect amount of uh salt and sugar you know acid um that you look for you know so we're gonna make sure we get a little bit of it in there. So all I'm doing right now is just chopping up some fresh thyme. I like, you can use dry, um, but I love fresh thyme. To me, especially when you're doing your oxtail or if you're doing like a brown stew chicken or something, um, it just gives your food like that authentic island flavor that you love when you get authentic island food so um when you add those fresh herbs in there like i'm about to do with this thyme honey so i've got lots of it here you can add as little or as much as you want i don't know if you're, if for some people it's like cilantro and you just can't i don't know but um <laughs> okay so I'll do half. Oh. Okay, got that in there. And let's get about three tablespoons of ketchup. Okay, one, two, three. Now I didn't fill them up, I didn't do heaping. Okay, so it's just three, all right. Don't do the most. All right. Get that a toss. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is going to be good. Mm hmm. It's going to be good. That uh, shallot is already opening up. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. So I'm going to scoot down to the bottom. See what we got here. Don't do this at home. Okay. Wait, wait till it's all the way cooked. But I need to taste the flavor. The chef always tastes as they go. Oh, that smells so good. It's so authentic. Oh. Oh. Mmm. Mm. Oh, yeah. She, she did that. She did. She did. So at this point, honey, you just going to let it work, 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 work. I promise you it will be worth it. All right. Now, as it's cooking down, right now, it's on low. Look where my stove is, okay? See? 
That's it. Low. It's on low. But it's that's why I brought it up to a boil first. Then when I turn it down to low, I kind of trick it into staying vibrant and lively and still kind of rolling in there. So that's why even on low, we've got it rolling and all of that, even the time that I add, the ketchup that I add, all of that is now like bubbling all throughout that beautiful chocolate gravy <laughs> right now. I'm telling you, it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm, I'm going to just give you one more, one more look, honey. I'm, I'm pleased. <laughs> I am pleased. Okay. Your Jamaican oxtails. Let it cook. Let it cook. Okay. See where my stove is? Low. Let it cook. You don't need you don't need to do too much to this. At this point, your work is done. All right. You leave it in there. I would say check it in an hour. Check the flavor and make sure it hasn't cooked down too much. If it cooks down too much, then go ahead and add a little bit of water or some more broth if you have it, okay? But you see how adding that cornstarch, I've already got a gravy. Look at that. I don't have to add any slurry or I didn't have to make a roux or anything at the beginning. I simply tossed a little bit of cornstarch in a few of those um, tailbones and already we've got a gravy working already okay that that's what you do that that's how you do it okay all right, all right. I'm gonna cover that cuz I'm tempted oh I'm tempted honey but it's just good <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for watching um, and sharing and caring. Um, keep looking out for each other. Keep taking care of one another. Y'all, I feel so good that I got that shot. It's like, I'm ready to see my mom and dad now. Like, okay, because I wanted to make sure um, the reason why. And, and this is not any shot shaming or anything okay i don't like shot shamers no okay a person's right to not take the shot is their right okay there's still a lot of questions and people you know are kind of working themselves into like getting ready for it so you know it's not your job to you know push that on anyone okay I can understand anyone's skepticism, okay? I did it um, for my parents, number one, okay? Because um, I haven't been home in a couple of months. So definitely did it for my mom and dad uh, so that I can be safe when I know I'm with them, especially now that I'm back at the high school now. Um, even though I'm not, like, we're not seeing any kids face to face, it's still... You know, a good idea. And as a business owner of Sugar Pearls, um, I wanted to make sure that when I deliver a service to my customers, I'm delivering um, the safest, highest quality service I possibly can if it's within my control. So it was within my control to get the shot, make sure that, you know, when um, I'm serving my customers for my business, um, that they can feel confident that you know, and not that you don't have to do what you're not what you're supposed to do at the shop. Like, still gotta wear your mask. Still gotta you know be cognizant of your surroundings and you know people like people that be going out and stuff all the time like. Don't come see me, honey. Call me. Call me. I don't. I don't want to see you. <laughs> mm -mm. 
No, just call. And don't go see my mom and daddy either. Just call. Just call. The website is sugarpearlsonline.com. YouTube is Sugar Pearls and Instagram is Sugar Pearls underscore online. I think it's just awesome that you're here with me on another Friday night watching me cook in my kitchen, literally my kitchen, and you're here with me. So thank you. Uh, yes, we went back to school with Charlotte High School students, those um, who parents, whose parents elected to have them um, back in an in-person setting. So, so far, so good. So far, so good. They even have the lunches set up, so it's, it's totally touchless. The kids just use their barcode and, like, on their phone, and that's it, like, Mm -mm. So, and you get a different wristband for each day of the week. So every day that you come in, uh, you get your temperature, you're good to go, you get your wristband, you can go about your business. So um, the protocols look really good. It's just the A, B schedule, A, B, C schedule for me. Mm -mm. One week on, two weeks off. Oh, my goodness. That is just like, ugh. I don't know. But I don't get paid to figure it out, child. Mm -mm. I just show up. I just show up. That's it. Because, you know, systems going to do what systems want to do. I just show up. Honey. Okay, this is looking good. I'm cranking it. Oh, it smells so good. I wish, I wish that we, uh, you could smell this pot and everything therein. Like it's so good. All the flavors. All. All the vegetables. Uh, you see how much vegetables we put in there? Um, that meat flavor, I know it's going to be ridiculous. So after an hour, we're going to taste for flavor. Make sure I don't need to add any more liquid or whatever. And then um, cook it again for an hour at least. It's going at least two hours. So about 9.38. I may be turning it off. It should be tender. And then I'll let it cool uh, low enough so that I can get it in the fridge late, late tonight. Um, make sure that if you're doing this, and if you're doing this with me right now, make sure that um, you're going to stay up for tonight for a few hours, okay? Like I'm about to put in, put in a movie and... You know, just binge some. I don't know. I don't know. But I will be up so that my pot can cool down before putting it in the fridge. Okay? You don't want to get sick. You don't want people to get sick. Make sure it's cooled all the way down. Um, when you put it in there, when it's hot, and it, get, it just... Mm, mm. Food sours quickly. You don't want them problems in the emergency room. Trust me. Okay? Mm -mm. Let it cool down. Baby, how you doing? How was your week? Oh, my gosh. I'm just... Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank all of you. I really, really appreciate the check-ins and you just being here. And I'll make sure that as this goes, um, I'm like recording it for you and, you know, you're keeping up with it. But if you're watching this video and you just want to record it, make sure that you write down the measurements or go back to, uh, it was, it's a couple of posts, but it's right there on my page um, where I say thanks to my forever roommate and fellow still my night, that one. Okay, and at the bottom it says see more. Click 
and you'll see the recipe and all of that. Click there. Well, I don't have amounts, but I just told you amounts while watching. Okay, so put them in there un until I write the amounts and get it in the book. Okay, because it's going in the book. Oh, yes, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, okay, here we go. I've got, I don't think I need any liquid added right now. I just want to give it a gentle stir just to make sure. Mm. Uh, I've got something. Here we go. Hot enough. Ooh. Oh, God, that smells so good. <laughs> it smells so good. Mm. All right. Mm -hmm. See how it's starting to come away from the bone now? See that? All right. Still not ready, even though, but this tell is cooking, though. It's already starting to cleave away from the bone. That is good. All right. Let it go. It's going to continue to go at low here or medium low, whatever that is. A little bit higher to low if you want to. But when I tell you this, this beautiful gravy, that's all going to cook, 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 and we'll be eating this tomorrow. But like I said, you want that to um, sit in the fridge overnight. As it cools, then in the morning or whenever you get ready to eat, all you have to do is just, like, lift the fat off. Skim the fat off the top of the oxtails and go ahead and start, like, a low stew again, and you'll be ready to eat. Perfect for a nice winter rainy night like this one. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Uh, make sure you let folks know that every Friday at 7 o'clock Eastern, we be here eating good in the hood. Yes, on Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to continue to let my oxtails stew down, and then I will check in again with you on tomorrow make sure oh gosh before y'all go please 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 i know i said it last week but um oftentimes um when there's a storm like in this case what texas has dealt with all that snow and ice and everything you know when there's a storm like that where um we we're often panicked in the storm um, without understanding that there's an aftermath sometimes to that. And for people who are dealing with the aftermath of the storm, um, in Texas, uh, our prayers are with you. Uh, I personally have a couple of great friends down there. So I'm hoping that you all are well and that you are safe. Um, know that you are loved. Just take care of yourself. Um, I think I was listening this morning and most parts have electricity now, but, mm, um, just the stories of like survival and just, just pushing through to make, make sure we make it, you know, is good news so for those of our friends that are watching that are in texas know that um our prayers are with you um i hope to see you again 
really soon. I appreciate you joining me. And I hope that this night brought you a little bit of joy. Yes, some comfort food for the winter time. Oh gosh. Okay. Can't wait to eat. So I'll let you know how everything goes and you let me know how your yours um, goes as well. Make sure you post pictures and tell me how you like the flavor of my Jamaican oxtail recipe. All right. Until then, see you next time, baby. Mwah. Know that I love you and I hope you love me back, sugar. Bye.